putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Yes, I thought about this too. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. As if it wasn't dodgy enough. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name, Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report, intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Can't wait to hear what this bloke knows. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Well, he's certainly paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Acknowledged. Nice rig up. Bit amateur compared to mine, but... You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. I've got this. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change.
The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Now, hold on. It's not what you think. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Fuck no. Think more subversive. What, dead sec? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Oi, there's no time for that. Listen, Albion knows you're in London. You've got to run. You've got to run fast, mate. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Oh, really? No shit. Why else do you think I'd be risking my ass here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Listen, Cass is a piece of shit. We need your help to take him down. The bombings, that was him. And he came after us, too. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck. Think, Amish. Think. Shit, fine. The table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Oh, no! <laughs> Patrols have eyes on the suspects, over. No visual of target. Ending pursuit, over. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. 